What is going on guys? I want to talk to you today about something that has kind of been in my head for the last couple of weeks because of a photo from a few years ago that I saw as I was doing some research. And this is another one of those videos where I don't know all the answers. I'm basically going to be asking a lot of questions and then I want you guys to sound off in the comments and let me know what you think because this is going to be a continuation of fleshing out an idea. <laughs> Now, to dive in and give you some context, this is the image that I saw, and I want you to just pay a little bit of attention to what this guy is wearing. The outfit itself isn't necessarily very masculine, and then you've got the beret. Now, the beret is the main thing that caught my attention because when you think about something that is a polarizing, like you can go from extremely non-masculine to extremely masculine as far as one article of clothing, I think a beret sums that up really, really well. You've got guys like the Green Berets in the military and military and police forces from all across the world who wear these. You've got men like Che Guevara and other people who, regardless of whether or not you think these people, militaries, revolutionaries, or anybody else, regardless of whether or not you think they are good people or bad people, it's hard to argue that they're not masculine or that they're not manly. And then on the other side, you've got the association that I think most white collar people who live in urban environments have when they think of a beret and they think of artists and beatniks and hipsters and people who are not necessarily very masculine. Now it's one piece of clothing, but it spans, and I won't even say that it spans because it doesn't really exist here in the middle. You don't see the average man wearing a beret and wearing it well. You've either got it here on this side of the extremely traditionally masculine or on this side which is the tr extremely traditionally almost anti-masculine. And so it's interesting to think about why this one piece of clothing can do that. So I want to know what you guys think in regards to that. Why does one piece of clothing work so well with one group of men, work so well with another group of men on the opposite extreme? but doesn't work very well in the middle. I personally think that part of it has to do with the polarization aspect of it. I think part of it also has to do with the fact that you see other aspects of the uniform here on this side. You see military uniforms, you see strong, cold men. Uh, you know, they've got uh, a certain thing about their presence. You've got their, their eyes and their facial expressions, their builds, the way that they stand, their posture and all these things. And so that supports one aspect of it. And then you've got the same thing over here on this end where again, it's posture, it's body language, it's all these other kind of intangible elements of presence that support it on this side of the extreme too. The reason that this was so eye-catching to me when I was going back through and I found this photo of this one guy is again, check this out. He's got a lot of the elements of a stronger looking guy. I mean, it's hard for me to be able to completely put my finger on it and I would love to hear what you guys have to say but his facial expression, his body language, the way that he's standing, he looks like he's a relatively tough guy. I mean, he does not look like a wimp in this clothing that he's wearing, or at least that's my perception of it. But at the same time, the clothing itself is not hyper-masculine. It's actually very effete, it's very hipster, it's very fashion forward. And so you've got the clothing that's on this end or the interpretation of the clothing on this end, the body language and the posture and the presence that's on this end, and to me, it creates a really interesting and a really compelling contrast where I don't know about this guy and it makes me more interested to find out about him. Is he a guy who, is he brawling? Is he an artist? Is he, I, I don't know. And so I love that just by seeing this one photo of him and combining all these different elements, it actually makes me question who he is and what he does because I can't very easily judge the book by the cover and put him into this box or this box. So. Help me flesh this idea out. I want you guys to tell me, first of all, do you think that this guy creates a compelling contrast? Do you see him as both tough and artistic or do you just see him only one way or only the other? Tell me why you think something like a beret can go from one extreme to the other with very little room for variation in between. And then I also wanna know if you guys can think of anything else that has that same kind of impact or has that same kind of effect. I can't think of anything off the top of my head as I'm filming, but I'm sure you guys are gonna have some great ideas. So, I hope you guys love the video. I cannot wait to hear what you have to say. Leave it a thumbs up. And you guys, as I'm recording this, we're like nine people away from 10,000 subscribers. So, if you are not subscribed already, click that button. It's gonna be showing up both below and then on my end screen, subscribe. So you can get really interesting style-related content like this, and I will catch you guys on the next one.